Hey, boys and girls, how, how are, are you? How are you? Uh, happy Monday. It has been an awesome weekend. Did you guys watch Children's Church? It was fun. It, it we was We had a fun. blast. I bet you guys did too. Well, when I got my clothes back, somebody took it was my clothes. crazy. If you haven't seen the rest of them, you should go back and see all of them. They've been really They're fun. Really fun. Wait, cool. wasn't there a challenge? We have two challenges for you guys this week. Wasn't there, there one was. challenge? What was the yes, first one? Yes, the first one. Did you guys remember what the challenge was? Do I remember? Do you remember what the challenge was? Tell us again. Were you not listening? I was trying to help with the lights. Oh, my goodness. Okay, the challenge is to spend five minutes. Five minutes. No, no, five minutes. Five, four, five. Five exactly. minutes. Exactly. Five minutes. Five minutes every day. Oh, no. Eating. No, no, not eating. <sighs> I brought my All she wants to do is eat. No. Five <gasps> minutes every day talking to Jesus. Talking. Talking to Jesus. And today, I want to talk to you about how you can spend those five minutes talking to Jesus. Oh, Okay. You know, sometimes when we kneel down and we pray, we fall asleep. Or we go, I know, I heard you snoring last time I you were praying. I was not snoring. Yep. Uh-huh. <laughs> yep. Have you ever been snoring when you're... Okay, we don't want to fall asleep while we're praying. We want to talk to Jesus. And I'm going to give you some points on how to talk to Jesus today. Okay. Do you guys want to know some points? The best thing. I don't think I was sleeping. Okay, maybe you weren't sleeping, but it sounded like you were sleeping. Okay, the best thing. We're going to get five minutes. So, you have five, five fingers. Five okay? fingers. Okay, five fingers. So, five minutes, one minute for every finger. So, when you're, when you're talking to God, I'm going to give you some ideas on some things to talk about each minute, one representing each finger. So, the first minute, the first minute that you're praying... Tell God, good job. I want you to praise God. Do you know how to praise, praise God? Praise, praise God. God. Tell him that you, he is the best thing in the world, that you love him more than anything. Oh, just, I can do that. Oh, just, Sister April, um, she doesn't know how to lift me up and praise, but she can praise God. So, the first minute. I want you to praise, praise God Jesus. for 60 seconds. I think he deserves okay, more next? than 60 seconds. We're going to praise seconds. Jesus. We got praise Jesus. Okay. So do you know what the next one is? The Maybe next Maybe you minute. thank him for the things that he gives you? Exactly. You give awesome. him thanks. So for the second minute, I want you to give him thanks for everything. Thank for ice that's... cream and marshmallows and my husband because he's so good. And my kids okay. and all my children's church kids <clears throat> and and ice cream. Did Sister I April's going to need two minutes for that one. So we worship but Jesus at and least then we thank for him for one the things minute. he gave us. Yes, give him thanks for the things that you woke up this morning that's true. You have and that you can breathe three and left. that your mom so and dad else? loves you. Okay, so the third minute. The third minute. We talked about this yesterday morning. I want you to ask Jesus to forgive you of your sins. Oh. Tell him you are sorry for falling for asleep. Ex yes. I wasn't when you're praying. really sleeping. Ask him to forgive you of your sins. And the big thing is, is that you have to promise him that you're going to try your hardest not to do those sins again. Because we're repenting. And repenting is the act of turning around and going the opposite direction. Yes. So when you say, Jesus, forgive Sister April for falling asleep during her prayer, she's going to try really hard not to do that again. All right. So the fourth minute. Fourth minute. What are we asking? You praise. You tell him thank you. And then you tell him that you're sorry. And then, you and then after ask that one, him. we're going to ask him for what you need. He wants to give you oh. what you need. He wants to answer your prayers. Ice cream. We need ice cream. We always need ice cream. Oh, my. April. And we need all these people Sister to feel April better so we can go back cream. to church. Yes, let's pray for and everyone school. that's sick. Let's and pray work. for our pastor. Let's pray. Ask him for anything that you want. He's a big God. And he wants to give you what you want. 
He wants to give you what your heart desires. That's what the Bible says. So, the fourth minute, we're going to what? Do you remember something? Ask him for? Ask him. We're going to ask him for what we need and what we would like to have. So, we're going to praise him. Praise him. We're going to thank you, Thank Jesus. him. We're going to... Sorry? Tell him that we're sorry. Tell him that we're sorry. And then we're going to ask him And we're going to ask we him for what we need. And then what? And then the fifth one. This one's the best. Anything else you want to tell Jesus, I want you to spend one minute telling Jesus anything you want to tell him. I think that's where you I was You need to tell of, him if you're scared. I think that's where I was having trouble before. Yeah, that's probably where she was falling asleep. She didn't know what to do in that fifth minute. Okay. But... We want you to spend one minute talking to him and telling him anything that you want to tell him. Now listen, this challenge is for five minutes. But Brother Mark and Sister April is not going to be mad at you if you spend more than five minutes yeah, in prayer. you can spend six. You can go to six, or seven, or eight, or nine. But if you get to 20, make sure you're not asleep. Okay, but it's good. If you want to if you want to spend 20 30 minutes in prayer, that is awesome. You need to spend some time talking to God. Okay? So that's our big challenge for the week. I want everyone to spend 5 minutes in prayer and remember the first you can spend 1 minute for every finger, that's 5 minutes and we gave you something to talk about every minute of those 5 minutes. Also, Sister. We have another challenge. Another challenge. One more challenge. Another challenge. And tomorrow? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. That would be Monday. No, that would be Tuesday. Yes, yes Tuesday. Tuesday. Tomorrow. Tuesday. Come back at 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock, and we will tell you this challenge. <sighs> Big challenge. <laughs> Everybody has to be listening. Super. This one is going to be really cool. Super amazing. This one's going to be really cool. Because it may have something to do with our next children's church. Do you so, want to be a part of our next children's church? Oh, I do. Oh, wait. Brother Mark. I'm going to be a part if of If you it. want to be a part of our next week's children's church, then be on here tomorrow, and we will tell you how you can be in next week's video. On Tuesday, tune in at 10 o'clock. And Brother Mark and Sister April will tell you exactly what you need to do and how you need to talk to your mom and dad about doing it so that we, we can get you involved in our children's church for next week, next That's Sunday, right. this coming up Sunday. Okay. I'm excited. We're excited. We miss you guys so much. We love you. And I know spring break is over and some of you guys are going to have to start getting ready for school. And doing homeschool, and that's crazy. But we're praying for you. We love you. We don't want you guys to get sick. We want you guys to stay well and have fun. Love and you. don't drive your mom and dad crazy. crazy. Remember, bye. bye.